Start a bit, start a bit, run. Reading comics, twists are hella sick. Start a bit. Hello, it's over here and I just can't reach it. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Transformers action figure review on the Transformers Generation Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy Leader Class Ultra Magnus. I have to give a big thanks to Megalopolis for making this review possible and sponsoring this YouTube channel. They have an awesome online store. I recommend you check them out in the description below. They have a point reward system where you gain points and can get some free stuff. The more you purchase, link down below. And this is a very cool looking Ultra Magnus already. I can tell right over here. On the side, we get an awesome looking images right there. And then on the back, you can see some product shots. We like those different modes. There's also Shockwave available, which I'll be reviewing. And then nice image on the side right over here. I really dig the Autobot symbol right over there on the very top. That's pretty awesome. Not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Ultra Magnus out of the packaging in his alt mode, as I like to see him with these accessories attached to him. And it looks awesome. I'm very pleased with this. We get some nice looking paint apps, nice looking sculpt a little on the small side for a leader class. I'm not going to lie. But but still some really cool stuff going on over here. Let's get a closer look at all the accessories that come with Ultra Magnus, and then we'll get a closer look at the figure in his alt mode. So here's Ultra Magnus with the accessories applied to him as shown in the directions, and I'm not the biggest fan of this. You know, I just prefer to have the short missiles right here towards the front, as I remember from my G1 toy back in the day, and I'd just rather not put the other accessories on there. But I think they're all very cool. I mean, just looking at one of these guns right here, these look great, I love the detail, and I love that they painted the silver right here in the center. That's what really makes me happy with this Siege line, is it kind of reminds me of Henkai, you know what I mean? It's like that extra step of quality that we're seeing right here just pleases me. It's a bit hollow on the inside of it, but uh, it's not bothering me that much. Here's looking at the standard issue blaster, or type of blaster that we see for Ultra Magnus. Mostly all silver right here, except for the handle. That looks great, I like it. And then just getting a closer look at one of these, I don't know, rocket launcher. These look great, you know, just very pleased with them. And you don't have a whole ton of options right here as far as porting goes. I thought maybe you could sneak some ports in right here on the side right there, but no, not really. And you could add these black guns right here to the very top if you want to do something kind of tricky like that. I guess that's eh, kind of neat. That fits in there. And putting that right there, I know, that right there, it just looks really silly. Yeah, that's too weird. <laughs> nope, I did forget one port right over here in the front. Yep, you could go ahead and port a gun right there. Yeah, that's not stupid at all, right? Yeah, cool. No, but anyway, I really do like the silver paint that we're seeing. The level of detail on this just pleases me so much. That is really cool. Love the translucent blue right here with the windows. This grill part, you know, with the translucent blue, that's a little bit weird. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but you know, really, for the most part, I really like it. We get some nice details with the yellow right here at the top. Just nice etched in detail throughout on this piece right here. Just really makes me happy. I do get this slouching forward kind of feeling with it. You know, that kind of bothers me some, but it still rolls pretty well, so I'm not really complaining about that. It's just, you know, the look of it. Then I was thinking about trying to figure out ways to get this to carry some cars, and no, that's just not a possibility. But it's technically not a car carrier, right? It's just supposed to really resemble one. But regardless, you know, all the details throughout and the painted tires right here, that is great. Nice sculpted detail in them as well. You know, so that makes me very happy to see on all of them. It looks great. On the back, you can see he's a bit pigeon toed, which I actually kind of like for the robot mode. We'll get into the details here later on, but here's looking at the top of it, not looking too bad. Then here's looking at the other side once again. And measuring out this figure in alt mode, you can see Ultra Magnus is at about 10 inches across and only about three, yeah, a little over three inches tall. And for the only size comparison I'm going to show while he's in alt mode, here's the leader class Ultra Magnus next to the Voyager class Siege Prime. And you can see that the cabs are about the same size. That makes me very happy, right? More or less. You know, they're a bit different, but still, that's very close. You know, I think that's very cool. Uh, I like that, you know. They should look very similar to each other, so that's pretty nifty. Would be cool if they released a trailer for this later on. That'd be sweet. If you really hate parts forming, you're not going to really like this figure. I give it a pass, though. It's Ultra Magnus, and he has two robot modes, so I think that deserves a pass. Anyway, will you take away Bumblebee? All right, so we're basically just going to strip the figure of the whole car carrier portion of this truck. Uh, you can just split right over here at the top, start swinging this back right there there and then you could lift this up and just remove it and then now we have him in his regular truck mode and this could have been shifted back a little well no it's supposed to be forward like that that's probably why it looked a little bit weird earlier yeah but that looks you know pretty good yeah so you're left with all these pieces right over here which we'll get into in just a moment but just getting a look at the cab again you know without that trailer or the car carrier portion of it, it doesn't look too bad you can see all the robot mode bits right there a lot of sculpted detail so yeah, not too different. And if you weren't wondering what this looks like next to Prime, I mean, what's 
what's wrong with you, man? I mean, look how similar they are, though. That's pretty cool, right? Not exactly the same, of course, but more or less the same size. I'm very pleased with this. Yeah, and looking at it from the side right there, that looks really good, too. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Now, we have two more transformations to get through, so Bumblebee really has his work cut out. for Romulia takes away Bumblebee. All right, so uh, one thing I would like to do first is to go ahead and move the arms forward from the back right over here. And then we could separate the legs, and we could swing these down and swing that down. And then we're gonna rotate full 360, and then lift up this blue piece right here in the back. Fold this forward from the front, yeah, and then you can see his head right there. Lift that up, swing that back in, and then push this whole thing back. It's gonna connect to that blue piece right there. Come on, there it goes. Then we have this flap right here, which we're gonna go ahead and swing forward and turn around. And then we have the heel spurs, and then we're gonna connect these armpits together. And now we have Ultra Magnus in the first of the two robot modes that I'm going to show you guys. And this looks awesome, I'm very pleased with with how much this resembles G1 Optimus Prime, or more specifically, the Voyager Class Siege Optimus Prime figure. So yeah, let's get a closer look. Now this may not be my favorite of the two head sculpts, but man, I love what Hasbro has done here. Great looking head sculpt. I love the silver around the red eyes right there. The attention to detail is just fantastic, and I don't think this is just a repainted Optimus Prime head sculpt. As you can see, uh, or maybe you can't see, but like around the edges of the mask area, there are no notches, but on the Ultra Magnus, we get little notches right over there. There's also a little notch in the bridge of his nose that's not on the Optimus Prime, so it's a different head sculpt, or at least the face portion of it is anyway, and I think it looks great. Just looking at the rest of it, I love it, man. These little faux smoke stacks right here. They, those look awesome. I love the deco. That looks really clean. Again, the front the cab portion and everything of it. Nice metallic blue paint right here. The hands look pretty good. Everything's detailed out really well. I love the attention to detail with these little arrows. You know, kind of remind me of the... I think there were stickers back in the day. Then you could see that silverware added to them from the Siege line that I like ever so much. And then nice looking silver right here. And then again, the tires look great. Feet are a little on the small side, but it's okay. It doesn't bother me too much. And here's looking at the back, and then you can see that you get, I guess, possible port options right over here. And the articulation's not bad while in this mode. He could look up a bit. Uh, due to transformation, it can swing back a little bit more so, but without it swinging back, he'll look up just that far and down that much. You get side-to-side -side motion, a little bit of head pivoting, and the shoulders will move outward that much, and you could rotate all the way around. You get a bicep swivel, single-jointed elbow, wrist rotation. If you wanted to unhinge this and swing the arms back, you can do that, but that's not real articulation for the figure anyway. Uh, you get a waist swivel, hips move outward very far, He'll kick forward and back, a uh, thigh cut right there, single jointed knee, and then ankle pivot and some heel spur action due to transformation. And measuring out this Ultra Magnus, you can see that he's standing just at about six and a half to seven inches tall. And then here he is next to the Siege Voyager class Optimus Prime, and they're almost the same exact height. He's just a little bit shorter, and you can see that the limbs are proportioned out a bit differently between the two of them, but I still think these look great side by side. They look very similar. It makes me very happy. So yeah, the car carrier portion of the figure in the shot, so we'll get him transformed into his final robot mode where he takes away Bumblebee. Alright, so there's very little transforming going on with this portion right over here. One thing I wanted to mention is I wish you could swing the fists into the forearm right here. I was kind of trying to split that to see if that could happen, but anyway, going on to this, uh, you're just going to split right over here and detach right here. Then we have these forearm pieces that just port right in, and we're going to take those off, and you're going to go ahead and attach them to the forearms of the robot mode right over here. So you want the silver part on the inside and you want it angled towards the fist and I think I'm putting this on the wrong side. Yep. Yep. There he goes. Okay. It's supposed to go on that side right there. Sorry. First part of the transformation I already made a boo-boo. And then you're going to look for the port and just match it with the left side of the forearm or the outside portion of the forearm. So there that is. And then we have these pieces right here or we could start detaching this completely right here. It just splits. Oh, it's all coming apart, but you can see that it was attached right here the center and I'm gonna go ahead and get this all separated from this long red piece right in the middle so there that is and then we could go ahead and get these legs folded together which is a little on the tricky side but not the worst thing in the world so if you have it all fully extended you're gonna fold in and then fold in halfway through and then this is gonna collapse and wrap around and make the leg and I'll demonstrate again and then here's a shoulder piece that came off you want to take those off and I'll attach them in just a second but yeah so you're gonna have it all fully extended extended and then you're going to fold the end piece right here and then this is going to fold in the halfway mark 
right there and then that's going to wrap around the leg and connect like that and it's very easy uh, you want to put these heel spurs in and you're going to just slide the, f the whole leg right into the side of this new leg piece like so and that's already folded in right there and it's just going to make the shape it's very easy to do and that clicks right in and then we have these shoulder pieces you want to just make sure you fold this up and get that in there and then have this facing on the outside so just put this right on right there and then I'm gonna get this one flip this up and then slide this in right here oh make sure it's pushed in all the way uh, the crotch piece needs to come down swing 180 flip that in all right and then we're gonna separate the shoulders well it's easier to do before you attach these pieces but I should have done it earlier but I'm gonna go ahead and yeah Swing that out and move the whole upper torso forward and then swing it down and then swing the head in and then put that back up, swing that back and then put these shoulders back to the way they were. Put this guy back on right here. And then we have this final piece and we're just gonna go ahead and attach that to the top of the figure and let this all, oh, you wanna fold that in right there. And then this piece is supposed to actually shift down which I didn't do so, yeah. There it goes, a little tricky, but it slides all the way down. And then this is gonna clip onto the back of this rail piece right over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click that on. You could actually go ahead and scooch this back and then click this on, you could hear it click. And then you wanna swing this in right here and then swing this down, put that back, give him his weapons, and now we have Ultra Magnus looking all freaking awesome with all of his weapons attached to him as well. I forgot to show that off. I'll get into that in just a second, but man, this thing is so cool. I'm so happy with this robot mode. Bulky and articulated and just looking freaking sick as hell. Let's get a closer look. I love what Hasbro's done with this head sculpt. Uh, it looks so good, man. I love that bright silver paint. The blue eyes look really good right here. The details in the helmet and everything. Ah, the whole thing is just really well done. I like the touches of silver right up here. Looking on the back of the head. Looks really good, man. And I added the missiles right over here so you do have the ports. And I wanted to add those right there. It reminds me of the G1 toy. I love the sculpted detail that we're seeing. Then you get these little pegs. And looking on the back, I did give him his weapon storage. So you can go ahead and port that big gun right over there. This looks really cool. On the back, it doesn't look too bad or gappy or anything. I do wish that the uh, the added silver right here was more on the outside. You know, that would have been pretty cool. But, you know, there it is. Looks pretty nice. Then looking right here at the torso. Oh, my god man that is awesome i love the details right here love how you can see some of the cab underneath too that is just really cool oh man so pleased with this the belt looks great the arms again look awesome oop retab that but yeah man love that silver dry brushing such a cool added thing to see on my Transformers figures. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, I've been a fan of the silver dry brushing and all the silver paint, and seeing it on these Transformers figures just makes me really happy. I love the trim right over here with the red. That looks really good. Man, and then you could go ahead and add these guns right here on the side, which I like to do. I think that looks really cool. These guns are pretty awesome. But yeah, man, even has some painted toes. We're talking about painted toes on an Ultra Magnus figure. Oh, it hits a geek spot so hard. And I guess you could use these as ports on a stand if you wanted to or something but yeah even on the back of it it doesn't look too gappy or anything you know it even has a cool port maybe you could put him on a stand i don't know we'll see now going over the articulation while in this mode you can move the head side to side he will look up that much and down a little bit and no real head pivoting at all shoulder articulation is the same so you could rotate outward and do a full 360 you get a bicep swivel and then you get a single jointed elbow and the wrist turn side to side you get a waist swivel still hip joints move outward still so you can get him doing the splits almost and he can kick forward and back uh, you get the single jointed knee that still bends just well a little bit less than 90 degrees but almost I mean with all this added stuff that's pretty great man and then you also get ankle pivot that turns inward it doesn't turn outward at all now one thing worth noting is that these feet are sculpted in a way where they're always going to be angled out so if you want him standing perfectly vertically straight up and down with his legs perfectly straight to the ground it's not going to work the toes are going to be angled out and that doesn't really bother me so much I prefer to have him standing like that a little bit anyway so to measure out the figure you can see that to the top of these stacks right over here. Ultra Magnus is standing at about eight inches tall, eight and a half inches tall. And then here's Ultra Magnus next to the other Siege figures that I've already reviewed. We have the Voyager Class Megatron and Voyager Optimus Prime. And I will be reviewing Shockwave, so stay tuned for that. And I also 
still have the Wave 1 Deluxe figures coming on the way, so those should arrive in about a week or something like that. Shockwave review should be up next week. And then for your Ultra Magnus comparison, we have our Siege Leader class figure next to the G1 Ultra Magnus, and I'm so happy Hasbro went along with a darker blue color for this figure. I think it just works a whole lot more, but look at all the homages to this G1 figure. I especially love the shout out to these stickers right over here. And then here's Ultra Magnus next to your average 6 inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ah, I wish I could drive. Hey, do you think you can give me a ride? Oh, sweet. All right, I'll just climb up. Oh, what is that? Oh, that is freaky, man. Why do you have that there? Why do you have that there? I'm sorry I asked. So again, I think Hasbro did a great job with this piece, and I love seeing him here with the two guns blazing. Now, I did try to find a port for the back of the figure, and I couldn't find one that would be a match, so I couldn't get an aerial pose like I wanted, but still, I think this is an amazing piece, man. I'm very pleased with it, and at an MSRP of $54.99, I'm giving this a sun rating of... <laughs> <laughs> now 55 bucks could sound like a lot man but i really feel like hasbro gave us a lot with this figure i mean there's just so much playability while also having a high level of detail for adult collectors it just makes me really happy i feel like this is just that perfect combo of what i want to have in an action figure and i'm very pleased with it man i want to know what you guys think so please go ahead and leave a comment down below hit the like button if you like the video hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you have not already for more shardimus prime videos and if you want to stay in touch with me on the social media, check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust. Links to everything in the description below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! And, uh, posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hey, new Shard of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.